それらの銀河軍も超銀河団も動いているかもしれないそうなるとさらに約1秒前に私たちが動くことになるいずれにせよ一秒前に到達しただけでも行動が局所化しているのでそんなに必要になる手動じゃ無理だし同じ場所に移動しようと思ったら It might take years for a supercruiser to come up with a solution. Just get me the same location. <laughs> Then we have no choice. We need to find Taito and borrow his variable gravity system. Great idea. Go for it. I wonder how Sir is dealing with this problem. After blowing me off, Caruso goes back to reading CERN's documents. Dara and I aren't good with English. There's nothing much we can do but look at her work. Dawn breaks. We stayed up all night again. Fighting drowsiness, I refill my mug with instant coffee. I've already lost count of how many times I've had. Okabe? Okabe? Creaser hands a mug to me without looking away from a computer. I guess she expects me to refill it. Since when did I become her maid? She just asked Miyori for stuff like this. Miyori is a professional maid after all. That said, Carissa is on reading certain documents right now. Dow and I can manage if we use translation software, but we're nowhere near as efficient as she is. Well, it's not exactly what I had in mind when I said I wanted to borrow her knowledge. Just go to show that I was right to make her a lab mem. She's an asset to a lab. For now, at least, I should try not to upset her. I suddenly take taking a mug from Carissa and put it in a powdered coffee and pour in hot water from a pot. Two packets of sugar, no milk. So, what you're saying is Carissa is dark and sweet. Yeah, I like that idea. Carissa orders in question the same way five times a day. Mix it well and bring it over to Kurisu. She doesn't immediately realise I'm standing behind her, so I hold the bug in front of her face. Kurisu takes it without turning. Arigato. Thanks. Her eyes never leave her screen. She's completely absorbed in CERN's research. Even though she was adamant since she called them traitors to scientists everywhere, she's not above picking her brains. But I understand how she feels. I'm itching to know more myself. Daru is fast asleep on the sofa. It's snoring is quite loud. Furthermore, it sounds like it's has sleep apnea. I'm kind of surprised Carissa hasn't been able to ignore it. Is she really just that focused? I decided to watch some TV. As always, the news channels are all covering Radican satellite crash. Five days have passed since the satellite crash, and we're starting summer vacation season. Crowds are gathering, gathering to get a glimpse of a satellite, which has not been removed. I came from Nagoya. I wanted to see it. I drove away from Saitama. It's amazing. Where did everything come from? Oh, mail, brilliant. I like text messages. You got mail. From part time warrior. I'm so hungry. I had to skip breakfast again today. I don't have much money in hand. Very good places to find insects or weeds, my dear. I can get by using my survival skills if I have to. You eat insects? Hardcore. What kind of childhood did you have? It's got to be that one. Yay! I'm a high school girl from Chiba! Tourists from all over Japan are flocking to this location. In an interview earlier today, Michael Burns, spokesman, spokesman for NASA, stated that no satellite had crashed into Japan, and the crashed object was, in fact, not even a satellite. The satellite is currently under police investigation. No date for removal has been set. Is it really under investigation? 
This could be another plot by the organization. Good morning. Joking, I went up for a counter. Hope you like that. The door unlocks me outside, and Miyoi comes in. She has a convenience store back in hand. There are various food items inside, but it doesn't look like red for us. Wow. The air in here is so thick. Three of us probably look pretty haggard. Haggard since we stayed up all night. But it's hard to put on a bright smile now that I know about CERN. Oh, refreshing air. Miyoi opens the white window wide. The sky is so blue it hurts my eyes. Large clouds listlessly drift, in, drift on wind. It truly is a refreshing sight. Miyoi's appearance makes Daru get up with a grimace. Kurisu also finally moves away from the computer, sipping her hot coffee while rubbing her eyes. I glance at the clock and go to the centre of the room and call for attention. Since all lab members are present and accounted for, this is a perfect opportunity to hold a round table conference. Round about confluence? What's that? A meeting of lab members. Have you ever done that before? Do you even have a round table? Not physically. However, it exists in the hearts of all lab members. Am I mistaken? Yep. things in people's hearts. Is there one of me? You should too. Oh. Of course there is. Oh, that's good. But what's a roundable? And why a round table? Are you King Arthur? I'm only a temporary lab member anyway. These people write about every little thing. Anyway, it's a round table conference. Mayuri wasn't here last night, so first, let's explain the situation to her. That's right, we actually get a wide shot of all of them. It's always surprising just remembering just how lanky Okabe is. I tell Mayuri about everything we discovered in her absence. About how Sir is making time machines. About Jelly Men. About Helen Black might come and erase us for what we know. I told you you shouldn't do bad things. Hmm. Hmm. Bad, you say? We are bad. Absurd. If we're bad, then Sir is even worse. We aren't satisfied with ruling the world. Now we want to give our hands on the space time itself. I agree. But see, for some reason, Karisu actually blacks me up. What Sun is doing is unforgivable. They're traitors to humanity, to society, and to science. I guess... She doesn't sound convinced. I didn't want to get Miyoi involved, but she's surprisingly perceptive. She'll find out even if we kept it a secret, so it's better just to tell her. Anyway, Ragnarok can no longer be averted. The final battle with CERN is near. A large part of me is still afraid, but we've come too far to back now. We can't unlearn what we know. Ragnarok? Ragnarok? 
Norse mythology again. Christina. Christina. I ordered you to investigate, sir. What have you learned? I don't remember being ordered, but whatever. There are two problems certain faces of time travel. The first is the electronic injection device, also known as a lifter. Let's forget it functional properly. They can't make a clear black hole with singularities naked. You send a test subject to prove its singularity in its good state. The supergravity can press them to a micro level. Naturally, there's no way to survive. The second problem is they can't specify a physical destination. They can't choose where they end up after traveling to a past. That's why I say the 14 found in Jellyman were the lucky ones. Over 100 human experiments have been reported since 2001. Remaining 80 or so people end up somewhere they can't be found. Why can't they be found? Didn't you know, Mayushi? The world is constantly moving. Its rotational speed is 15,000 km an hour. Its orbital speed is 114,000 km an hour. Darius' tone is authoritative. But it's just relaying information he learned from Kurisu last night. Seren has been looking for solutions. But it's not going well. So, even Seren's having difficulties. Now then, have you learned anything but the complete with phone wave name subject to change? Hint, eh? Chris just stares at the ceiling in thought. Well, LHC is the world's largest microwave oven. I suppose you could call the LHC the world's largest microwave oven. Of course! In other words, the phone wave name subject to change is a miniature LHC. She might be onto something there. I'm sure she denied, but in fact, she thought she'd thought she'd yell at me. But instead, she agreed with me. First, me off a little. However, but too many things you don't know about the phone wave. Why do the same phenomenon with the Seren Sir's time machine? Also, about the tiny little microwave. LHC to 違って、これは time travel のために作られたものじゃないのよ。It was made to warm Mayushi's chicken. Yeah. Since the Jellyman phenomenon occurs with a phone wave, Mayushi's bananas must be reaching a curved black hole with a singularity. Makes a black hole here. Won't suck us in, will it? If it stuck us in, we'd become jellymen too. But we still haven't figured out the electron discharge phenomenon. All the conditions required to cause it. During our experiments earlier, we were only able to send emails to a past during the discharge. Although it hasn't happened again, that discharge phenomena could very well signify the injection of charge, that is, electrons. And only when it occurs does the path to the singularity open. We don't have a cause of the discharge phenomenon. That's what we need to find out. In the first place, the email was sent to the past digital data, not physical objects. That's the definite difference from CERN's time machine. No, we're doing the same thing. We're saying digital data can't go through the singularity. I think it would be easier than sending something human size. Well, I suppose that is true. You know, the way you guys talk about email, Makes me think I'm holding a letter to the paper airplane. I'm making a zoom, you know? It's more like a beam of light, like optical digital data. By the way, it's a pain to keep saying email sent to a past. Let's give it a proper name. 
got a bad feeling about this. What's that supposed to mean? You dare mark Hoen Kyoma? You just want to go into my Bible name, don't you? <laughs> How rude. Heed me! I shall name the phenomenon of email sent to the past as follows. The name shall be... Nostalgia Drive! Nostalgia Drive. Confusing. Rejected. Why you? Who gave you a right to reject my ideas? You are just an assistant. Then why don't we take a vote? All in favour of Nostalgia Drive? My hand shuts up into the air. But nobody follows suit. Have you forsaken me, Daru Mayori? <laughs> right. It's too hard for me usually to remember. Oh, part time Mario, what's saying? If you cook them right, they can taste surprisingly good. Hmm. I'll take it for your word, take your word for it. It's way too tuny, man. Traitors. Fine then, let's hear alternatives. Don't tell me to reject your idea without having any bright ideas of your own. やっぱり分かりやすさ重視にすべきだと思う。時間を遡って見えるなんだから。そうだ。そこを見るでいいんじゃない？ How could she eat that stuff after hearing my jelly men? Sounds like you have your answer, Christina. You said it should be easy to understand. <laughs> it wasn't easy to understand at all, was it? That's what Never mind. You're about to say because the Yori's dumb. No! Uh, Chris Chan, do you think me? She's dumb. I don't I don't think me. I I don't I I don't think me. I I don't I don't think me. I don't I do I オカリンのノスタルなんとかだって十分長いじゃんか。ノスタルジア。ノスタルジアスカパルノスタルジアエクスペディアレドシアスノンセンス。エンマイメイクイトメイクムービータイトルレフェン。ローマンがあれば。